Hello, my name is Jason Miller, founder of Aspen Now Solutions, and you're about to unlock the power of ServiceNow. Uh, looks like we got 254 subscribers and a little bit under 7,700 viewers, so thank you to all who are viewing and subscribing. If you can click subscribe, it would really help me out. I'm trying to get to that 1,000 level so I can get some sponsorship for the YouTube guidelines. Okay, so today we are going to talk about how you can administer detail rows. So let's say you get a user requirement in that asks for the short description to be right underneath the incident and go across vertically, uh, excuse me, horizontally except instead of vertically. Well, you can do that to the user interface actually. And I'm about to show you how. So there are three steps that are involved with this. Um, this is the way our list looks right now. So the first thing we need to do is create a system property. And the way we're going to do that is, and I should mention that I'm an admin when I'm doing this. So we're going to go to sys underscore properties dot list, bring up this list right here. Then we're going to create a new system property. And the name of the system property is called glide.ui.list.detail underscore row. The type is going to be true false. Value is going to be true. Then we're going to click submit. While well, that's doing that, I'll move on to the second step. So then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a dictionary entry. So again, we're going to click new here, excuse me, we're going to search for the incident. Um, so as you can see here, all table contains incident. And then what we're going to navigate to is this record right here because the column name is blank. So this means this is the one for the entire collection, right? So you see type here, collection. Then when we click on incident, we'll open this up. And right now, what we'll do is we'll add this right here, which is detail underscore row equals short description. So I will save that. And while that's saving, so we still have our instance list here. And there's one last thing we need to do. We need to change uh, the list control from V2, or excuse me, from V3 to V2. And that is one thing. So if you have this user requirement come across your desk, and you just want it applied to one table, that's fine. But you're going to have to change, you're going to have to disable the V3 on it. And I would communicate that to your client because that has other repercussions too. So I'm sure developers can give you way more detailed uh, overview of what that means. So when we do that, we're going to come into list control. And now we're going to click on this checkbox here, disable list V3. And then we're going to click save. And uh, that's finished. Well, let's see if it actually worked. So I'm just going to type in incident.list. And we can see a little faster. Oh, there's a little two eyes there. And also, I wanted to mention that while we're doing this, that if you're a recruiter or a person looking for a job, uh, you can contact me for some resumes that I've received. If you're looking for a job, you can feel free to send me your resumes. My contact information is the, in the About Me video, um, so my LinkedIn profile is there. Um, okay, so here we have it. As you can see here, short description now runs across horizontally, and you can even search for it here. Um, so if I type in alert, for example, and I think this is the reason why I wanted to show this, because I set up my trading platform to bring in all these alerts here, and the symbols were kind of lopped on top of each other, so I wanted a nice... Uh, you know, A to Z, right across the board, finish to it. So that way I could see all the different symbols that were being added. Okay, uh, if you could subscribe, I'd really appreciate it. I think that's it for today. We just unlocked the power service now. Thank you and have a great day.